Lift your hand. Beginning from today. Professor. The Lord who created you Professor. will stand out for you. Amen. With your hand lifted up, I receive every mountain before you will disappear in a moment. Amen. The Lord said, I should tell you, I receive that which they say you will not be. Ah. You will become that and add jara to what the Lord is saying. That the good news coming for you will not be exchanged by hey, the Lord. Hey, hey. Will not be exchanged. Someone here, your fruit of the womb is coming and nobody will exchange it. Amen. Amen. Someone, your yes, letter yes, yes, yes. of appointment is coming. Nobody will exchange it. Amen. Somebody, your marriage is coming. No demon will exchange it. Amen. Someone, your admission is coming. Nobody will exchange it for you. Amen. Any evil bird flying over your life and If your fire is louder, let that bird die. Fire. Holy Ghost! Lift your hand from now. I receive. We are the enemy kept you. Uh -huh. After today, they will not see you there again. Amen. All those after your life, you will attend their burial. Amen. Amen. The strong man in your father's house before the end of January is in the grave. Amen. It's in the grave. Anyone making incantation with your name? Fire. Your mother's name. Fire. Fire. Your father's name. Fire. Fire. There is good news for a sister here. Amen. What you have been praying for your father for a long time, before the end of this January, it will come to pass. Amen. Receive. 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 That person that must die for your father's eyes to clear will die after today. Amen. And hear me very well. Every Pharaoh that don't want you to live, that don't want your family to live, I declare them dead today. Amen. Any shame programmed by the devil, Fire. anything that represents shame and disgrace. Fire. Anything that represents reproach fire. that the devil has packaged against you. Fire. If you raise your two hands up and shout fire, yeah, 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 it will fire. 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 I declare from today. I receive from today. Someone gave a testimony online. Mm. And how? He's here. But they have already drawn physically. They went and printed his picture and put it to obituary in the house he was building in the village. Fire. But the young man was here. Mm. Fire. Somebody snapped it and said, See, oh, they have posted your obituary. That young man cried. 
while he was here they have already pestered his obituary in the village fire god punish but the good news is mm -hmm. the person that pestered that very obituary, obituary. Hey! Cool. He's already in the grave now. Hey. Get down. Ah. <laughs> Anyone wishing to see you in the grave, fire. fire. Die. Your two hands will be up. If I say one, two, three, go, the wall, you scream the fire. The fire will locate them and push them into that grave. Amen. Amen. One, two, three, go. Holy God! Set fire here, fire there! 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 Fire here, fire there is a reward for wickedness reward for wickedness people that do wicked uh -huh. there is always a reward for a reward them yes sir for you will not live here uh -huh. they will collect your reward Amen. i they will prophesy collect. over your head i receive any mark of death they place on you it is taken out of you now Amen. it's removed from you now Amen. it's removed from you now Amen. lift your voice again and shout fire here fire there fire here fire there louder fire here fire there louder fire here fire there louder The enemy have laughed your family enough. But the Lord said, I shall announce to you. Before next week, Thursday, yes, sir. you will carry your testimony in your hand. Amen. Anyone angry with your gift? Fire. Fire. Anyone angry with what God has done in your life? Fire. Fire. If your fire is louder, let that fire look at them now. There is someone here. Somebody just vowed to frustrate you in your office. But I tell you the truth. By the time you leave here after today, yes, sir. the table in your office will turn against that person. Hey, hey, hey. 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 We turn against that person. And I'm here to tell somebody very clear. I receive. Go and write it down. And it is going to be read and it's going to be testified. Yes, sir. That God have said that I shall announce to you. I receive. Before February. Yes, before February. You are out of this country. Amen. You are out of this country. We are God is taking you to your enemy cannot get there. Amen. Your enemies cannot get there. Amen. If you believe it's your prophecy, let me hear your amen like thunder. Amen. And I speak to someone today. Uh -huh. I receive today. And I declare over your head. I receive on my head. That spiritual rag they put on you. Fire. And the rag they put on you. Fire. In the name of the spirit. Fire. If you will shout a louder fire, let that rag catch fire. Fire. You came here with a serious pain. This altar swallows that pain. 
You came in here restless, worried and restless. This altar swallows them now. Amen. You come in here confused. You walked in here battered and shattered. Ah. This altar swallows them now. Amen. I'm amazed. Yes, Lord. I'm amazed. Lift your hand. I'm amazed you came through for me. Lift your hand. Yes, Lord. You've been good from this time past. And yet you still doing good. I'm amazed by all you do. I'm amazed. I'm amazed you came through from me. You've been good from this time past. And yet, you're still doing good. What did I do to deserve this kind of love? What did I do to sit at your right hand? What did I do to deserve this kind of love? Oh, oh, be the way. Come true for me. I have no essence, I have no meaning, Lord. You showed up for me. What did I do to deserve this kind of love? What did I do to sit at your right hand? What did I do to deserve this kind of love? Oh, 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 Yes, angels. Listen, I want you to be sensitive. You will feel some certain things that will just pass you. Oh, angels are just here right now. Angels. You will be shocked the kind of touch that will just come and pass you. Now, as you lift your hand from this altar, I make this declaration. I receive. Whatever that covered your glory is rolled away now. We lay your hand over your head. I declare for you and I declare for I you. Receive. God will give you a miracle that will make you shout for joy. Amen. You will not labor in vain. Amen. Come on. With your hand over your head. I receive. The Lord will locate you today. Amen. Look at me. Open your eyes. Look at me. God have never call anyone to seek him in vain. in vain God did not invite you to the mountain top here for nothing at all look at me he didn't bring you here for nothing there are other places where you could have entered but he led you here brethren this is your home amen it's my home I said this is your home amen Listen, listen. No matter how far your house is, it's close. It's close to me. No matter how far your village is, to somebody it's far. But for you, it's close. It's not far. I 
have went to a place with my wife the last car dropped us two of us entered one bike the brother was telling us ah, it's not far the bike drop us they use canoe cross us and he was busy still telling us it's not far but for us when you find a home it's not far your home to a stranger is far but for you and that's why some of you travel like Suleja to this place for somebody from Suleja ah it's far but for you the moment you enter this gate ah God did not make mistake to bring you here and if he didn't make mistake from this altar whatever that is an issue in your life Aha. if your amen will be louder that issue disappear now he's running away he's running away amen angels are rolling it away angels are rolling it away angels are rolling it away he's rolling it away he's rolling it away he's rolling it away he's rolling it away Some people here will meet miracle that will make them open their mouth and shout. Listen, all the people you taught that will help you have disappointed you. And you know why? God want to take the glory. Yes, sir. He don't want anybody to take the glory. Yes, sir. And because you have submitted your will to the will of God, and you have said, God, I don't want to take it to myself. Now I have tried on my own. I am tired. Now it is your turn. Look, sting to me. If you have agreed with me today, in the next seven days, yes, sir. that miracle you have been praying for, the Lord will drop it for you. Amen. He's dropping 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 it for you. Next thing, there is nothing you want to achieve or you dream that is not possible. There is nothing you desire or you dream for that is not achievable. Don't give up. Don't drop your dream. Don't drop your vision. Hold on to that dream. Hold on to that dream. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Don't change it. Hold on to it. Nine years without a child. And your man was telling me, I want to born four children. But this is nine years. Even if God will give me one, I told her, don't change it. That it has not happened does not mean don't change it. And on the first pregnancy, it was three. Next thing, there are things that happen to you for God to text you. And until you pass the test, you will not graduate. Until you pass the test, you will not get the, the honor. That's why God allow you to do your own first. Finish. Before I will come in. You see Nigeria, ba? this country will go down the drain pity, pity, pity. 
he everybody will tire listen everybody will tire it will go down the drain pot pot people go they beg god god they look us before god will now say hey una don't finish now let me come you know moses wanted to cause revolution in egypt but god said to moses it's not time sit down when the time came <laughs> he didn't take god anything god knew how to finish pharaoh anytime you want to do things by yourself god will tell you my son sit down now relax and that's why sometimes when i look at your problem i laugh do you know why i have been there if i've not suffered if i've not made that problem i won't understand what you are going to so but because i have been there any times people come you are telling my problem you are, you are shaking you want me to shout anointing and carry your neck on the ground and when you are talking and you are crying i'll be looking at you laughing because number one you are coming out of it yeah you are coming out of it and i declare for everyone here today aha uh -huh. if your amen will be louder whatever pain you are passing through now if your amen is louder the hand of the lord is pulling you out amen. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you name of jesus amen look at me i said to you the bible said in the last days iniquity shall do what increase abound and the love of many will do what we wax cold go to the villages now all those people that rejected the idol has gone back all those young people that have rejected that will tell you now and it is time for them to start the main tradition hey go on facebook some of them are shouting even abusing jesus the bible said it it will happen at the last days all the things you are seeing happening on the social media today even in the world today christ has prophesied it and that's why you will still see more why a lot of people are going to be misled but the bible said them that persevere to the end that's why i said to you that you are shouting jesus carrying bible today 10 years to come will you still carry that bible all these young girls praying for marriage if you marry will you still know road to mountain top let the time reach that you are here oh daddy 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 in 10 years to come will you still be saying daddy 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 there was one of our brother in garikia his guy name is talk your own <laughs> now you sabi yourself it's not about this thing we are doing here there are people we started it with they are nowhere to be found and that's why the Bible said, let he that think he stand, be careful, lest you fall. The day is ahead. Potter, potter, things is going to potter, potter. When everybody tire, that's when God will now say, okay. If God said, <clears throat> they will say, eh, what you talk? But for now, people can do their own. My prayer for you, because covenant children, <laughs> Covenant children, listen to me. Oh. The hard time coming is not for you. Amen. Listen, this thing we are talking about, we is not. I'm only telling you for you to be aware. But as long as you are a covenant child, the Lord will exempt you out of this trouble. Amen. Let that your amen be better than your neighbor. Amen. To sit down, sit down, sit down in a moment. You know, I ask you to get papers today that we are going to pray over the suspects you are. Now, but I want to let you know that you need to be strong in the Lord. Anytime, brothers and sisters, you see signs of these signs, 
know it you are living the faith watch any time you discover your zeal for god is no more the same something is happening the enemy want to shift you out of your place and out of your position with god take the signs number one if you find out that you are struggling to find joy in worship no more zeal no more joy in worship even when they are praising the lord or worshiping god no more tears your eyes are dried but before you know it, that immediately they start worship tears roll down from your eyes but now you discover it doesn't move you anymore there is danger mark my word is a sign of danger anytime you discover they say to you we are going for fellowship it's okay i'll come later and that letter never materialize watch it you are off going off if you continue that i just mark it in two weeks three weeks four weeks you'll be struggling to come back to that same worship the bible said do not give up the habit of meeting together as brethren in fellowship any day anything is moving you out of the fellowship you are going down the drain some people will tell me man of god eh, i'm following online online is like supplement it's not the real food I say online that to follow program online is like supplements you know when you take supplements you have to produce some vitamins are you getting me real but it's not the main abunchi no matter you don't chop olive supplement and survive you need to eat are you, are you understand me now you you need to eat the main thing you can't compare indomie with one plate of apple no 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 you can't compare and then for you to survive even an 111 year or 120 years man still the chop for you to survive you need to feed and you can only do that when you come to fellowship and then you meet god and the word fed a lot of people have been dropped out of the way because they left fellowship Anytime you discover that you have lost interest in going to church, you are going out of the line. Always this agreeing with any time they bring in each of church or fellowship, you are there in the fellowship, you fight and quarrel. <laughs> you are getting it wrong. That is a strange spirit I've entered you. The worst is this. Listen to me. When you discovered him, anytime somebody corrects you, you take offense. You are out of the track. Apostle Paul said, Did I make you angry because I corrected you? He said, Let that anger lead you to repentance. Anytime that somebody corrects you, I say, See, oh, this thing you did is wrong. You could have done it this way. You turn your face like carafish. You won't greet anybody. You now begin to feel bad that they corrected you you are on the road to doom another one the spirit of pride listen i keep saying it here pride the bible said goes before a fall that thing you feel you are proud of <laughs> i saw one post maybe some of you saw it i saw some people sending it even to me a guy that was in the wheelchair and the man of god met him on whatsapp i saw it and said to him he was begging for food he said, you are the cause of your problem. You are a drama in the church. And all of a sudden, pride entered into you. And the church had a very powerful program that day. And then you became angry with the pastor. And you left the drama and said, you will not beat again. He said, that day you left was the beginning of your off. He said, and there was somebody in that fellowship that had been begging God for opportunity to play drum. He said, as soon as you left, the young man entered into the drum and was beating the drum far better than you. You were jumping from one place to another until you had this accident. 
He said, the best thing for you is to go back to repentance. But for your office, another has taken. Any day you wake up in the morning and you feel without you, nothing will happen. Bro, sister, you don't die. Hey, better begin to cry and beg God. Say, I beg God. I beg, I beg. Because somebody is already waiting to take. <laughs> I've shared this thing to, to our disciples in the class. Why we were getting to secondary school. I think it was secondary school. Where our school is going to play match in a, a government school in Osaka. And then, you know, there is this bus. They would they have Gongoro, they used to speak driver and two person. I don't know, you know, I don't know. People is people here will not know that Gongoro. But, I, but anybody who grew in the village, especially in my area, that motto that if he move, hum, 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 they will put wage and go and top water. They will write it at the, at the door driver and two person. They use plank to make seats. And you now understand what I mean. They use plank. So the motor will take us to go and play match. And all of a sudden, there was a guy in our team. He plays very well. In fact, people fear him. And all of a sudden, that day when we were about to leave, the principal and the game master, that's not how they used to sell it in the village. The game master would be in the front. The boy now came and said he would stay in the front. He said, no, the game master and the principal will be in the, in the front. The guy said, no, if he will not be in the front, he will not play. Ha. All of us started to fear. Me, Nagunkipa, I be. That guy, they play. All of a sudden, it become an issue. The boy removed his GC. Say, you no go play again. Make with the go. People beg, 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 beg. One boy, his name is why he they play left. He said, they play how many head? Give me that GC. And that person play, I will play that his wing. We they agree with you, right? but all of us they shake. We they beg the boy, the boy they walk out, they go. The game master, the principal. Enter the gongoro. We led for the game. Immediately we land to make the matter worse. The other team were coming. Was, hey, where is this guy? Did he follow? Did he come? Did he come? Hey, all of them know him. And they know that if he plays, we are going to lose. They are, they are going to lose. When they didn't see him, they say, wow, we have finished these people today. The fear increased. Hi. Water was coming out from my hand. Even ball have not started. Fear. You know that kind of fear that you will be feeling heat even in your hand. But something happened. The boy insisted that he would play the game. We entered into the field. Halfway before the end of the first half. That's why he scored one. He scored the second one. Yeah. When the first half finished. That boy picked a taxi to come to the place where we are playing the game. And when he arrived, he came and was asking them, <laughs> you know in those days now, now glucose did they give you. So, we were licking our glucose for, for the first half. Suddenly the guy landed. Hey, how many goals are they scoring in our school? They said, no, your school is scoring 2-0. He said, hey. he went and was jogging up. He wanted to put up Jesse. He said to him, sit down. We won that game by 3-0. And listen, that was the end of that guy's career till today. Then last time I saw him in the chair, he was selling this <laughs> chain and necklace, carrying it in the hand, moving. But this was a star. Pride brought him down. Any day, mark this word, you fell in you that without you, this thing will not work. That is your end. You will know that there are people sitting there that will do it far better than you. Never. And it is the spirit of pride. Anytime it comes in you, fight it or else that will be the beginning of your downfall. You are a housewife and you look at your husband. You feel you are born one, born two, born three, born four. Any born five, even six. When your husband talk, you feel you are balanced. Watch it. You will leave that marriage. You will think it is not possible. It is possible you will leave that marriage. Never allow pride to walk into you. You feel you are married. Others are not married. You can talk to any other woman anyhow. Watch it. 
God will deal with you one day. I know a man. He has his children. And any time he comes to fellowship, he carries He will tell him, all these people, my children are disciplined. I am a disciplined father. I make sure my children don't this. One of them, police said, my daughters cannot wear trousers and leave the house. Uh -huh. I was watching how your daughter will know you are a disciplined mother, a disciplinarian. Correct. But what happened? The two sons of this man went for robbery. Two of them were killed. The daughter left the house and became a prostitute. In fact, the daughter was one of the... In fact, the level was too bad that... In fact, the news made this man had stroke. And it was in the midst of the stroke, the wife even left him. This was a man that was stood up. I mean, telling the other man, I don't know, I have my children, I'm a disciplined, and my children cannot do this. Today he's in the grave. But God allowed him to see with his eyes. Never. Never. You know, don't make proud of anything in this life. Oh. No. Don't use anything to make guy. Nothing in this life lasts forever. Anything you see today will disappear tomorrow. Nothing will. Anything, even the car you see today that appeared to be flashy car, give it 10 years, it is out. Give it 20 years. Have you already forgotten the day? 504 as SR. Oh boy. It's the team, team, team. Pa, 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 pa. I sold Pijo Pass now. People, when you have SR, you are like you are on top. Today, if somebody give you 504, <laughs> let somebody say to you, Daddy, I love you so much. Hey, mommy, I love you so much. I buy this car for you. If it is Mama from Village, even. My son. So, all the insults you are finding out in the world. Ah, it's for you to bring this thing to me. This is all this becoming much. Go and buy five for I give you. Oh, huh? But there was a time those things were raining. People died because of it. They never last. I pray for you. The wind of this negative attitude or negative spirit flowing in the world, it will not carry you away. Come on, let me hear your amen loud and clear. Amen. And that's why I say, when you see those things, I want you to watch your spiritual life. Don't let the devil take you out of your place. Anytime you don't have remorse for mistakes you make, it's a danger. Anytime you have no regard for any of your leader or anybody who is a senior to you, is a danger. You know, there are people who felt... <laughs> That's why when you look at Catholic church structure, eh? <laughs> when you look at the church of Catholic church, that's why sometimes I say, eh, this church, eh, na ogidikiti. Somebody you brought into the church, you are even the one who taught him in the same night. You are still a priest. He now a bishop. The same person you used to flog in the class, he will go and kneel down and kiss his finger and kiss his ring and say, my lord, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Think about it. The same person that you flog up for seminary. Now you beat up for seminary. Now you read this and And then you go and kiss his hand and say, My Lord. Hey. And he will be obeying you, listening to you. But you are the one who brought him up. Now you are the one bowing for him. That is to teach you humility. At it is last. A priest was sharing with me how they were in the seminary and they were all doing tapping, tapping from food. One of them was to tap and they caught the guy. They were beating, they, 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 in fact, he was being penalized because of that. He said the way the guy was being punished, all of them felt so bad that this all of us are doing and this, today was his first time to tap because they know him see it was that punishment was getting more now they agreed together and in the class and said let them go and meet the rector even if he's going to punish let him punish all of them uh, all of us they do I'm nobody saying you, you, you caught him all of us they do he said when they went they met the rector and was begging the rector that all of us, even the priest was telling me, tell him, uh, even me, I don't do them three times. So all of them were confessing one by one. 
So when they confess, finish, they now, the rector now asks, go and bring him. They went and called. They said, Marian, he came. Say you the tap. They now met him. He said, when they met him, they told him, say, we have already told the rector that all of us are doing it. So he's only calling you to forgive you. He said, you put me in it. He said, yes. He said, but I've made up my mind to leave seminary. I have made up my mind to leave seminary because to me, it's a shame. But to me, I'm going to leave seminary. He said, let us go and meet the rector. He said, the rector called him and said, I have come. You see, you only tap one. You tapped how many times? Five. They were, but you only tapped one. These people were tapping five, six, seven. Nobody caught them. You only tap one. They catch you. That means it's not your blood. Don't tap. <laughs> and don't do what others are doing. And then today, that same guy is now a bishop. He said, each time I remember myself appearing <laughs> before my rector, and he was telling me that, that it is not in my blood. Even when others are stealing, don't steal. Others were doing even up to seven, eight, six, five. And only one. Only one way you do. Now I can't, can't catch you. He said, but now he's a bishop. Now, the same rector will be coming to tell him what? That is humility. And it all pick of it. And I pray for you too. May that grace of humility and obedience develop and build in you. Come on, you didn't say that amen well. Amen. Now, you, you, you could see the sign on the way people say amen now. If I say you will buy a car now, people will stand up and claim it and shout amen. But now I say the humility. <laughs> Some are even sitting down, sleeping with the men, agree with their head. But let it be you are marrying this year. I say some will stand with two legs to claim it to say amen. But all is for good. But I say to you, you're coming here, your testimony by the grace of God, as you obey these words, they will manifest in your life. Those people that say that first, amen, receive an answer now. Anytime, hear this, you are ashamed to share Jesus with someone. You are in the car, you are ashamed to share Jesus. You are living in a compound, you can't share Jesus with your neighbors. Then your Christianity has a question mark. Anytime that you can't even rebuke somebody that did bad in your compound, then your Christianity has a question mark. Be bold and be lively. Anytime you see these things in you, is a sign that there is danger in your Christianity.